I wonder what we're gonna do in this episode. Hey everybody, it's me and Walkerman, and welcome back from our Kirby and the Rainbow Curse in the last episode. We started on World 7, and we met our duplicate thingy, and in this episode, we're hopefully gonna beat the game, cause in this episode, we're gonna do 7-3 Wonder Space, and we're gonna be introduced into a new mechanic thingy, and I can't believe I have 40 lives, jeez. Just shows you how the game is. So anyway, see this monster thing, and then, this plant, so if we get in the monster, the monster will eat us, and then we get out of the plant. So be sure to avoid the monster and get in the cannon. And those monster thingies will be important later. So basically avoid the red monster, otherwise he'll put you in the red plant and go back up there. So that's like the main gimmick of this level. These monsters that send you back to the last uh, plant of the same color. So, I don't really know how to say. One thing for sure is that these guys are actually kind of creepy. Like, seriously, they look, they look really not good, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, I hope I didn't miss any, like, churches. But, uh, oh god. Um, I don't know what this is actually for. Uh, this is a Clacia, but with a shield with spikes on it. I honestly don't know what to say about this one. It's literally just another type of Clacia. Oh, no, not Clacia. Another type of Kata, not Clacia. What am I saying? If there was another type of Clacia, then that would be kind of horrible. It would make this game even more evil. But, is there any secret? No. Okay. So yourself, I'm still kind of worried. The whole thing. But anyway, we still have these green ones, and we have to avoid ever touching them. Otherwise, we'll be back to the start, and unfortunately, I did. So now we have to do a timed challenge. So we have to get all the way over there without getting eaten by a monster. Pretty simple. No, no! And it still reduces time while I'm doing it. No, 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 no! No, I almost did it, but I just barely got eaten by the monster. Come on. Well, that's the first treasure chest. Whatever, so. I don't know how you get that, to be honest. Like, seriously. How are you supposed to get that? Literally, like, post me in the comments section below of how the heck you're supposed to get that because i don't know so right here it's like oh hey how can you progress well we actually have to get eaten by the monster and then shoot out of the plant to progress because then that happens so now what you want to do is not get eaten by the red one but instead get eaten by the blue one because the blue plant over there will shoot us and progress us to the next level. Otherwise, if we did the red one, it would shoot you up late, earlier. And we don't want that to happen, because... No! Oh, crap. No. Oh, oh, I know what that was for. Oh, crap. I think it was the middle one. Oh, God. I think it was the middle one. Okay. Oh crap, I didn't know that. Okay, please say it's the middle one. Please. Yes, it's the middle one. Oh man, I was just, oh man. For a second there, I thought it was the one on the right, but okay, hang on. Yes, okay. And now we have more gondola-ing. Oh my god, my favorite part of the game. Gondola-ing. This is literally my favorite part of the game, guys, okay? I just like gondolas. I love them. They're so cool stuff so right here we want to get eaten by the green monster so that we can shoot that thing and make us progress so get in the gondola and let's ride right away wait a second wait a second what's over here is there anything over here no get in this thing and let's go so right now i'm just kind of doing this Nothing really going on. Oh yeah, um, maybe do that. There, that, there. Wait, what? Okay. 
way. Apparently, that's just an abyss of nothing. I wasn't exactly sure what that was, but apparently that's what it is. Okay. Uh, note to self, that's what that is. But, okay. Uh, go into the green monster, shoot the guy in the face with the plant, and let's go. And yeah, it's basically gonna be the whole gimmick of this place. Telep- tel- portals. It's kind of like portals, except it's just kind of awkward how they made the monsters of all things. So now we have that red one, so we have to avoid the red guy, otherwise we'll get put at the back of the, at the start of the, one. so. We see this. Okay, good, good. Okay. We wanna stay on this line so that we can get the treasure chest. And that's our third treasure chest for the level, and that is perfectamundu. So, six minutes in, kinda awkward, but all right. Now we have a chase sequence for some reason. I forget why there's a chase sequence. Oh yes. Okay guys, don't go on that part. Oh yes. And then do that. You don't want to get electrocuted and you just want to keep on juggling until you can't do it. And that's it. And you can see a bunch of monsters in the background. This is a puzzle kind of thing. So basically, Whenever key thing over here is in the correct space, you want to shoot him, so... It's not like that. Basically, you want to get a key guy, but not get eaten by the monsters. Otherwise, you'll get killed. So, I'm just trying to defeat this mini-boss. No! I don't want that to happen. Oh yes, pizza. No! I don't want that to happen either. I do not want to immediately get her after I eat some pizza, okay? No! Not that either! Okay, I don't want to get eaten by anything or living creature or anything like that, okay? Jeez. Just wanna wait it out for a sec. I'm just gonna get eaten by this monster and that'll be it. Come on. And we get shot up to the next segment of the level. Or maybe this is the end, I don't know. Oh, it's this segment. So basically, we have to survive all of the, wait, what? Okay, how, again, are you supposed to get that? I, mean, I still don't know how exactly. I don't, I don't, I don't get it, okay? Maybe super it? Uh. Uh. Oh, God! Okay, apparently super it, and you'll... That'll happen, okay. Well, I didn't get the chest, yes, but... I did get the diary, and for once in an incredibly long time, we get Dem Diary. So, yes. Good thing, we got the diary. And that'll be it. So, we got King Diddy. Wow, that's a surprise. And we got the monsters. So, King Diddy, Diddy, and the monsters. So, first, let's go to the figurine showcase. And we have King Diddy. The self proclaimed king, king of Dreamland loves to swing his giant hammer and breathes in lots of air. He spent countless hours in China in order to learn how to fly just like her. He appears here in a figuring form only, like other stuff like that. Apparently, these are called warp space. I don't know why they're called that. It would make sense if they were born. Okay. These baddies use their tongues to scoop up anything in front of them and spit them out in another place. They must think Kirby tastes like cotton candy because they keep swallowing him over and over and over again. 
So yes, quick that out of the way and oh. Oh, I completely forgot to show this one off in the last episode. Okay, well, excuse me, I guess we have a third one. Fear, fear, fearful grab hand. Looks like grab hand's trying to get a hold of Kirby. No one wants to see Gra Kirby dragged off to new one now, so it's up to Waddle to use a spear and save the day. Hurry up and, and save Kirby, Waddle And hopefully that was it. Yes, it is, good. Yes, that was it. And now we shall quit and return the next entry in Laleen's diary. And next we have, after an incredibly long time of three levels in a row, Kirby Party of Two. Shh. I wonder if Clacia and I will be friends again. I have my doubts. But when I'm with Kirby, I can do anything. And again, this is just so freaking cute. Oh my god. Seriously, like how this is like the most adorable thing. But anyway, this is the second to last and diary entry. So yeah, you can tell we're at the end of the game. So this is definitely the end of the game. But anyway, now we go on to the impossible, the dreadful, the dreadful, the dreadful seven dash boss, the final battle or something. Anyway, let's begin. It's 11 minutes into the video. Let's -a go. Okie doke. So now, uh, here, out of all things, we get introduced into a new mechanic. I'm not even kidding when I say that. In, in this level, we get introduced into a new mechanic of all things. I know, it's, it's really awkward, but it's weird. And as you can see there, we have uncolored versions of the normal enemies that we've encountered throughout the game just kind of chilling like the katas and the thorns bees as i can call them anyway here's a mechanic you hit this thing and then it explodes in that direction but eventually they'll have spikes on them so you want to hit them when they aren't spikeified and you want to hit them in the direction of where you want to hit him which in this case is that away not that way so you want to hit him in, at the point of the statue so that we can progress. Or something. So I wanna do that. And I I didn't do it. I, I didn't do it, guys. Woohoo, yippee. I didn't do it, so. It, we, I still didn't do it. Come on. I, I really need to save the world right now, because the world is out of color and we need color. So come on. Get no, not over there. Hey, I need to save a world. I need to save seven worlds, okay? More likely dreamland, so yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Come on. Come on, whatever you're supposed to be classified as. No, now you're at, now you're spikeified. Thank you, now I can finally progress. And we have a metamato, because duh, it's the final boss, obviously. But I, I'm already at full health, and I don't need the metamato, so. Let's just go inside the door, and I will be quiet for this cutscene of all things. But now he's all she's all rainbowified. So in this state, you literally cannot do a dank thing to her. What you want to do is take the asteroid thingies and then launch it at her face, and then that'll happen. And then you just want to attack her like crazy, and then she'll just keep on doing this. So she's kind of mad, and then she does that and does that. So. Right now, we can't actually like draw our way out of this, so we have to protect Kirby by drawing a line like that. And protecting Kirby by just doing that, yeah. Because we couldn't do a dang thing. So now we're just kind of avoiding Clacia's attacks, and I can't believe it's already 15 minutes in. But anyway, now we're just kind of doing this, just kind of chilling. 
No! Get over there. No, that's not good. Not good. Okay, don't attack it when it's spikeified, so no spikeifying. Eventually, they'll just disappear, which is kind of not good. So, yeah, she just keeps on making these things. I don't know what to call them. Maybe we're gonna stoke trophy for them. Then, maybe we'll know what they're called. No, don't hit it over there. Hit over there! Yes! And, not to say that this final boss battle music is awesome, but it's awesome, okay? I really like the final boss battle music. It's just kinda cool. I don't usually admire music in games, because I'm too busy distracting actually playing the game. So, yeah. There's that. And for here, I don't really like to kind of dodge her again, unless it's an emergency like that. Now, I just kind of like that. That, and we've generated a full health again. So you want to do it over there so that he releases the bomb over there, and let's do it over there as well. And boom! We've done it! And so now we just have to attack her and just keep on repeatedly doing that. And so far, we're at her second phase, I think. Or this, yeah, this is her second phase. Yeah, second phase. So eventually, she'll start releasing these puddles of goop, which turns out aren't actually puddles of goop until you realize that they're fists. And she'll try and punch you and stuff. So you want to get in the way of the fists so that you don't get KO'd, because I believe they insta-kill you, so that. And for right now, I just want to get a bunch of stars so that we can become uh, Super Saiyan Kirby. And that's awesome, so yeah. Just wanna keep on doing this. It's gonna move a long time. Until she makes the force field, and then she starts releasing out the spiky bomb thing. And that'll probably be it. And then, now, she releases uh, still two of them. Eventually, she'll release three. Oh, yeah, she does release three of them. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say that she releases three of them, but she actually does. Okay. But, uh, you just want to attack her like crazy until we can no longer attack her. And then she goes back into the, her invincibility. Into this phase. So, now, there will be... Some more fists that she's gonna launch at us. So we want to avoid said fists by just kind of moving out of the way. Not much else. And I'm just collecting all these stars! Man, I almost got KO there. Jesus. Wow. Uh, and I'm gonna go get this. Wow. Wow. Anyway, um, sorry for the sounds there, but anyway. Now, next time that we're gonna attack her, I'm gonna hopefully attack her in Super Saiyan mode, because that would do, that would be pretty helpful, to be honest, so, yeah. Next time, Super Saiyan mode. Whoa! That wasn't very good. And attack her. And you wanna come repeatedly tap her in the face! Like.